Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two cases of pelvic inflammatory disease (PID) with cervicitis. You can see the first video and the uterus is completely retroverted in position and cervix shows from a hypertrophy and the diameter of the cervix is more than the diameter of the body of the uterus. So there is some hypertrophy seen in the cervix. The deep layers of the ectocervicus cervix Endocervix and cervical stoma can only be visualized using high frequency ultrasound in a transvaginal way. Ultrasound is not needed in the diagnosis of cervicitis. However, when complicated by pelvic inflammatory disease, it may be helpful. To diagnose cervicitis, your doctor will likely perform a physical examination that includes a pelvic examination. During exam, during your doctor checks the pelvic organs for areas of swelling and tenderness. He or she will make may also place a speculum in the vagina to view the upper, lower, and side walls of the vagina and the cervix. The cervix is a fibromuscular organ that links the uterine cavity to the vagina. Although it is described as being cylindrical in shape, the interior and posterior walls are more often ordinarily opposed. The cervix is approximately 4 cm in length and 3 cm in diameter. Now, in this case, the cervix is dilated and shows some hypertrophy and the diameter of the cervix is more than the diameter of the body of the uterus. Now you are going to see the other case. In this case, the uterus is midline. And here also the diameter of the cervix is more than the body of the uterus. And this is a more clear video showing hypertrophy in the cervical area. You can see the diameter of the Cervix is more than the diameter of the body of the uterus, which is indicative that inflammation is there in the cervix. Now the cervicitis in pregnancy, the bacterial imbalance, if harmful bacteria overwhelm the healthy bacteria in the vagina, this may cause bacterial vaginosis and inflamed cervix may be symptom of this pregnancy. In pregnancy, this can affect hormone levels and lead to cervicitis as the cervix is more, much more sensitive at this time. The cervix is the lower fibromuscular portion of the uterus. It is cylindrical or conical in shape and measures 3 to 4 cm in length and 2.5 cm in diameter. The normal adult uterus measures approximately 7 to 9 cm long, 4 to 5, 4.5 to 6 cm wide and 2.5 to 3.5 cm deep, that is anteroposterior diameter. It weights approximately 30 to 40 grams, the uterus is dividable into two portions, body and the cervix. Now, 
now again you can see the cervix is dilated and a minimum amount of inflammatory fluid is also seen in the cervix so the mean uterus size was 86.6 mm into 49.6 mm into 40.6 mm overall 72.8 mm into 42.8 mm into 32.4 mm for nulliparous women and 90.8 mm into 51.7 mm into 43.0 mm for multiparous women if untreated if untreated infection in the cervix cervix that is cervicitis may progress to pelvic inflammatory disease as in these both cases infertility at topic pregnancy chronic pelvic pain spontaneous abortion cervical cancer or complications related to childbirth can develop you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks